we have always believed in the fraternity as flesh and blood. There is nothing abstract about our brotherhood, but the warmth and the fellowship and the loyalty and commitment we share to each other. But on one important side, our brotherhood is really an idea as well. An idea, some of the best elements of which I believe right now is represented well by the life of Brother Oliver Lozano. It is very difficult to pin him down because I, have, I believe I have, been observed, I have been observing the flow of contemporary history. He protected political prisoners at the time of Marcus, martial law and he believed in that. He protected labor. He was a labor lawyer. He was a consumer's advocate. He was a women's rights advocate as well. He was so many things. And, and you can see from this the breadth of his involvement, of his engagement in life. And I guess I remember when I joined the fraternity, we have always been asked to emulate this particular human values or these human ideals. And we would like to strive to reach out for them. So maybe perhaps we remember Oliver Lozano. We remember a real human being, flesh and blood, breathing, thinking of people, but also us, a great brother who has represented some of us, some of those most important principles forming the reason why we join the fraternity or we allow ourselves to be coerced to join the fraternity or to be inveigled or to be cajoled to join the fraternity. Because at the end of the day, it is not what the fraternity is all about. It is what you do with it when you join the fraternity that, that makes your brotherhood strong and stable 